What's happening folks and welcome to the first season review of the Ronaldo Turn series. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe as well as click on on this channel. Down below is my second channel which has got Resident Isn't Evil on there, but also the Chronicle of my Ultimate Team account this year. I'm going to put love videos on there in various different formats and different things to show just to chronicle my building of my team across the whole of FIFA 22 and just hopefully you guys can go across there and uh, check that out as well. So today guys is season review. Uh, today is Saturday I believe. No, today is actually, is today Sunday? I forget what day it is actually. I'm calling, it's going live. But basically every day this series goes live on Sundays which is my day off um, for this series. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through the season review vid the screens, look at the players, look at the transfer budgets, look at what players and areas we want to strengthen in, and then we'll obviously, um, I'll go away off camera and I will do that stuff and then come back to episode one of next season, which will probably be the Community Shield opener because uh, I do like the Show Cup Finals and, and the Trophy. It's how much we can win with United. Also coming on Sunday will be my announcement, most likely, of my... Um, Beta saves, uh, potentially. Uh, if not already done t on on um, the whole... I'm actually going to do it Saturday night, actually. And just on Saturday. So you now know what I'm going to do on the on the FN22 uh, when that gets launched in November, was it? Or November? Well, well, technically October, because the beta and that kind of thing. So let's go. So new arrivals. Um, we had... Well, we only, we only signed um, three. Uh, we signed Chippie... Neves and Pau Torres. The rest uh, were all players that were already signed technically. And they have given the star rating to um, sign a season to Ruben Neves. £7 million, pounds, 7 .0 rating. I think now should have got really. He got, he got 20, 31 goals, for crying out loud. Um, but Neves, yeah, great signing for us. All players have done well. Um, obviously, Tellez was already here. Chippier was very good. We'll take with Ramasaka and get that final fitness. Thing, fitness thing we wanted to do, but Ronaldo was fantastic. We'll get to Ronaldo in a second. And Diallo, I think he had a sneaky good season, second half when he came in. So chances out, um, mainly, uh, hang on, let's uh, look. We saw like Delo, he, let, he went to Southampton, Mata went, uh, Messam, Fosman, so went Swan. Obviously, these guys were already players that were already sold. Uh, we didn't sell many players massively. Lingard went, uh, Daniel James went to Leeds, obviously. On the database as well, so we saw a few players, but obviously we want to try and keep the signs realistic in the first summer. Now it's more open season; we can go with what we want to do. So this is season results, guys. As you can see here, we won the Premier League after uh, the expectation was to actually get the qualification Champions League, which is fantastic. I'm delighted with that. Um, by a good margin, well, the league table is surprising. Arsenal will always do well on foot margin. I don't know why. Um, oh, it's in my essays anyway. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. And you look at the lack of only two losses against Arsenal and Leicester. I mean, yeah, our draws were again. We could have easily won those draws. We really could. I think all of them we could have won. Um, but um, great results to win the league in the first season. Champions League, we knocked down the semi-final. We won lucky. One error from a lumping ball that which cost us. But we, but look at the teams we played. Barcelona, Man City. All right, Barcelona have got financial problems in real life. But for manager, it's still a worthwhile team to, you know, we, we we did well. We don't lose many games against the top side. We just need to find more goals in these big games. FA Cup was a disappointment. Lost to the City 1-0 in the FA Cup. The EFL Cup, we won that though. Won the AFL Cup and we be, we had a decent run to the final. Uh, Should be Town Reading obviously early on, then Wolves, Arsenal, Leicester. Not easy, but not as bad as it could have been. It could have been Man City in there, Liverpool in there, Chelsea in there. But Arsenal, Wolves, and Leicester still decent sides. I mean, and obviously Arsenal finished third in the table. Let's see, beat us already, and Wolves can be awkward as well. So we did well in it. We did well in that. Most of them, most of them biggest win was the six one against uh, Southampton. Ronaldo getting two, uh, Diallo getting one, Russia two, and Van der Beek. Match remember five nil against Arsenal. Yeah, I remember that game. That was a big surprise. That live com. Remember that live com. Thinking, wow, how have we done this? I have no clue. And goal of the season was Bruno Fernandez against Arsenal in the five nil. I don't remember this goal offhand. Um... I might remember. I, so I always, I always forget these goals, and when I actually click on it, I actually find, I actually find, I remember it. And when this highlight starts, so let's see if I can remember this one uh, I, I, and follow the current form of me. 
Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. Do I remember this? Do I remember this goal? Do I remember, remember this? Oh, yes, I remember this. He bangs it for me, doesn't he? Yeah, I remember it now. Uh, I, 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 when I first saw it, I thought it was those low-driven ones, but it actually is a long run. I, mean, I sort of remember that one now. I remember, the, I remember the episode being that episode being like, "Wow, five goals from nowhere, guys!" But I don't remember all the goals specifically. I've said that since then. Finances, we're in good position. Good position. Ronaldo helping out with that. Look at the defeat. The, the, the five amigos there. Uh, just the fantastic uh, shirt sales there. No new sponsorship deals. No new um, deals at all. Still relatively the same um, reputation. Ninety-six million pound in prize money, um, ninety-three million pound in in Brock, only two hundred nine million pound sponsorship, money flowing in. Um, we've got we we will we'll have a lot more spending in summer because I'm, I'm going to be selling players as well. So we'll see what happens. How lined up? Let's see who gets it right. Um, yes, so yes. Um, I think Paul Torres came in later on. This is instead of Maguire, just because of like the fitness of the two and the, the pace at the back. Never is definitely step. Van der Beek came in, but probably was out for a while. So I get why they put him in there. He did all right, Van der Beek. He did. All right. He got six goals, six assists, uh, which is more he's doing for United in real life. So that, that, was, that was cool to see. Accolades, um, as you can see, uh, won the player, the, won the manager, league manager of the year. Uh, got. Two, two managers a month. I'm a bit surprised I didn't get more than that. I think they should. I, I really, actually really surprised I didn't get that and get more than that. Player awards, fun players season was Ronaldo. Young players season was Rashford. Signing, signing we saw was Neves. Goal season was Bruno. We saw that. Top goal scorer was Ronaldo with 31. And top assists, which was top assists, which was Tellez with 13. Most man of matches was Bruno. And average highest average rating highest average rating was. Um, Cristiano. Most compasses completed in 90 minutes was Fred. I'm going to just say it again. Most passes completed per 90 minutes, Fred. Now, that might be because you don't play them in the game, so when you just play, the passes make it a bit, you know, more likely. But, yeah. Look at Breakers. Most sheet, most, she's most in the season, 13 for Tellers. Most clean sheets uh, by season, playing season, 33 for the hair. And most ma ma man of the match, player of the match awards in season, 8 for Cristiano Ronaldo. The worst spin was Neves, which is kind of surprising because he's not really got stuck in on it anyway. So yeah, great season for us here. Very happy with how we did, how we did uh, in the first season on, on this on this season on, on this series. Um, next year they want to qualify again for Champions League, recent final of Champions League this season, and obviously down the line. Obviously, guys, we are getting close towards the early access, the the early access, the beta for FN twenty one. So I don't know how many seasons, more seasons we will do. Maybe two more seasons, definitely one more season, maybe two. Depends on how there will be a break, sort of between the content. Uh, possibly, depending on how things go. If we get to like a week before the the beta, and then we have um, visa season, there's no point in starting a season if we're close to the early beta ish. So obviously, I'll judge that when we get to that point. So we'll accept that. We can't change it anyway. So we'll change that as it as it is. We'll do the season meeting with the players. We can win it again. Uh, insist. We can win this. We can win this. Okay, that. Okay, we should knock out City Champions League. Yeah, let's get that more, a bit, bit, bit better. Um, there we go. There we go. That's fine. That's done. So, we've had, uh, obviously, seen the rewards here. Um, all that stuff we just went through a second ago, basically. And uh, the finances next season, guys, we've got £72 million to spend. Obviously, the update, the update all this, of course, is it, I will be getting the high percentage of revenue um, enabled, hopefully. The world players getting sold in the summer. Most likely. Uh, in case you didn't see the previous episodes, um, the youth intake wasn't that good. We didn't get one anyone amazing. But some of these guys, like Charlie O'Neill, he's a nice player, but he'll probably gets sold on. I'm gonna look at the I'm gonna look at these guys on the off season. Once I identify my chance of targets, and then we'll go from there. You guys feel free to give chance of suggestions in there if you want to make suggestions. But I'm pretty sure I know who I want to try and get. But obviously with the database being a new database with the summer, it can be difficult to pick the players I would like. So, season. Let's have a look at who got who got the highest uh, amount of goals this year. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, player of the season is going to go to him. Is it, is it, does someone want this guy or something? I, 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 does someone want to sign him? No. Cool. Um, yeah, 31 goals and 38 points. The reason why this, the, the season is named after the guy. Um, and he's still a, like a striker. And I think he's going to be fantastic for his next season as well. Um, brilliant, from, brilliant season from him. In terms of... Uh, midfielder of the season. 
So goalkeeper has got to hair. That's just a certainty. Defender of the season. I'm going to go with Rafael Varane. I think he's very, very solid. I don't recall a single mistake from him. He might have made one, um, but I was very impressed with him in this, this season. Uh, very, very solid alongside Maguire. Midfield of the season is a tough one because a lot of them were very good. But I'm going to go with Neves because I think he was very solid in that midfield area. He got a few goals here and there as well. Uh, three goals and seven assists, sorry. And a few assists and, a few, and, a few, and three goals. And just kept the ticking over and worked really well in that, in that midfield role. He was very good at ticking the ball and starting attacks off for us and building up from there. So I'll give him that. Now, winger of the season. I've got to give it to Rashford. I know he's not, I know he should be a forward, but I don't want to give Ronaldo the award and then not give some kind of credit to Marcus Rashford. He was very good this season. Um, 17 goals down assists, so very, very good. Um, was amazing um, at times. He was in amazing form. Not always scoring goals, but just generally being a constant threat. And that's what you want to see from your wingers. If you're not scoring goals, at least be a threat and causing problems. And he, he did that He did that massively. And I'm very pleased with that. Um, surprise for the season. I think it will have to be a Diallo. How he came in looked very lively. Of course, he might get a boost next year in his start. Whether he, not, whether he will or not, I don't know. Um, but it'd be nice if he did. But yeah, next season, he could be somebody that we keep at right wing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep him there next season because I want to get Champions League one. It might be he goes out on loan, but I'm looking to get a winger in, which is a bit of a weird transfer. Um, and I'm thinking of essentially... One idea is being a winger in and loading him out, but I'm thinking of rotating Sancho on the left with Rashford, selling Martial. I, 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 I can't kind of screen, actually. Give it a technical screen, do it on here. So, essentially, Sancho rotate Rashford on the left hand side, sell Martial, keep the yellow, and get this new winger in that I've always had my foot mind and never actually do it. He's a, bit, he's a bit of a. I did mention, I always meant, dropped his name in an episode in a Champions League game, so. Um, if you if you were listening, if you watch the episode and you were keen eared, you may have heard me almost say the name. So I'll try and do the deal for him. I like doing these weird transfers occasionally, but it's also I think it'd be a cool deal to do. See how he gets on for us. Um, I'm trying to say his name right now. I would do want a DM in first probably going to leave, and I'll get a young DM in there. Um, and I'm thinking of getting a advanced playmaker um, into Bruno Fernandez in there as well. And anywhere else is probably not going to be strengthened anywhere else. Uh, it's probably going to be right wing. Um, DM and advanced playmaker in that in those positions because I, I like Van der Beek and Nev and Fred and Van der Beek and Pogba in that role and then McTominay will probably stick around but again he might leave if he gets a good offer and he don't want to stay but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the summer I don't think anybody else is going to be signed in other areas I might sell um, Lindelof and bring a young centre back in that's a possibility um, but that that'll be, that's more of a would be nice, you know. There's the three must haves, which are right wing, AM, CM, right CM, sorry, and DM, and then the rest, are like, would be nice kind of thing. And if any, any weird opportunities come up, guys, I will do that. And obviously, if any trust requests come in, that could affect things as well going forward. So, the club vision, we are still in a great position. They are very happy with us. Even the B, I won the league and got Champions League final. I don't know what else you want me to do. Of them and both of them, and so yeah, they're happy with that. There's nothing else really to talk about with the stadium, anything like that, and facilities. Uh, personal, I might get us a new contract. There you go, I've got a new contract, uh, which we'll, I think we can go shape right now. I think if, we, if we, it, it, I think I think they've accepted that. Yeah, new contract given to me. Uh, they offered me a new contract, um, which is till uh, hang on, let's have a look. Uh, start negotiations. When's the new contract to 2025? Will they accept that 2026? No, we'll go 25, that's fine. So, yeah, um, next season, guys, will be the uh, start, which will be against who is in the Community Shield. If you have enjoyed this episode, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.